From the previous lesson, we have gathered that the time taken by a projectile to get to its highest displacement position along the y-axis or perpendicular to the plane of the incline is half the total time of flight. The total time of flight is 2v0 sin alpha over g cos beta and this is the time taken right from the launch to the landing. And therefore, the time of flight from the launch point to the maximum height position is v0 sin alpha over g cos beta. If you remember from the previous lesson that the time of flight to the maximum height position is half of the total time of flight. Now that we want to compute h along the y-axis, let's use this expression for time and apply the second equation of motion along the y-axis. So we apply the second equation of motion along the y-axis. y minus y0 equals v0t plus half at squared from the launch point to the maximum height position. The initial y displacement is 0 and the final y displacement in this case is h which we want to compute. The initial y velocity is v0 sine of alpha and the acceleration component in the y direction is minus g cos beta in the negative y direction. And we obtained the time taken to the maximum height position which we will substitute next into here t and here t squared. Substituting for the time t as v0 sin alpha over g cos beta in these two locations, we obtain the height h as v0 squared sin squared alpha over 2g cos of beta. Don't worry about remembering all these formulas. Just focus on the method used to get to them. We will, in a later video, spend some time on easy ways of memorizing these. Here we have used the second equation of motion along the y-axis to get to the maximum height. But we could as well have used the third equation of motion along the y-axis. Let's quickly go through that. The third equation of motion is v squared equals v0 squared plus 2as and we need to apply this along the y-axis. The initial velocity along the y-axis will be v0 sine alpha. Now, at the maximum height position along the y-axis, the final velocity of the projectile in the y-direction will be zero. The acceleration along the y direction is minus g cos beta and the y displacement is h. And from here we get the y displacement as v0 squared sine squared alpha over 2g cos of beta, which is exactly the same as we had obtained earlier using the fact that the time taken to the maximum height position is half the total time of flight. So in a sense, these two derivations for the maximum height yielding the same results actually confirms the fact that the time taken to get to the maximum height position is indeed half the total time of flight. Now over the last few lessons, we had derived certain expressions for the time of flight, the range, the maximum height of a projectile, both from ground to ground scenarios and launches from inclines. And they are not so easy to remember. So in the next lesson, let's spend some time on how we can remember these formulas more easily. 
the maximum height of a projectile launched from an incline can be obtained by applying the second or the third equation of motion along the y-axis. We also use the concept that the y component of velocity at the maximum position height is zero or the concept that the time taken to get to the position of maximum height is half the time taken for the entire flight.